I just downloaded right over here this uh, PDF and uh, what it is is it's apparently the most recent updated draft for the standard C++ programming language. As I explained to you once that um, C++ has been standardized by the ISO, the International Organization for Standardization, and they have defined the founding blocks and the ironclad rules of programming C++. Now, for the sake of everything that's holy, this is most definitely not a tutorial or introductionary book for learning C++. This is pretty much like the United States Code of US federal law, so it has a sort of very rigid way of explaining things which reminds me of uh, official contracts which lawyers probably make for big corporations. Uh, but if there's any like specific detail which you'd like to know the rules about in C++, then you might want to get yourself a copy of this PDF. For example, I recently found out right over here in section 361 clause 5 that the main function uh, doesn't have to have return 0 explicitly typed. Uh, if you don't have the return 0 in the main function, then the compiler will make as if you typed it. I don't remember exactly where I found this PDF, but uh, you could search Google for standard C++ N2588, which is, I think, the latest revision of the draft. And you can rest assured that whatever it says in that PDF will work on any compiler on any computer with no problems. Many C++ programmers get very pedantic about standard C++ and will hate you for ever making some sort of mistake like using something that's not standard C++ and or not strictly adhering to the fiery ironclad rules of standard C++. That's why many books and tutorials out there, including my videos, will many times be disrecommended by many of these uh, programmers because it is so easy to make a mistake, uh, neglect something, some rules of uh, standard C++ programming. So what I'm saying is while I will try to always stick to standard C++, um, I know for sure that integer is standard C++, the main function is standard C++, C out and C in for sure. Uh, this whole program right over here should for sure work with no problem on any C++ compiler because this is absolutely standard. But beware of little uh, mistakes that I may make throughout my videos which uh, maybe if one day you realize that it doesn't work on a certain computer or a certain compiler, maybe it's because I thought that it's standard C++, but really it isn't. I've already mentioned a few stuff which uh, isn't standard C++ and will probably differ by each compiler or each uh, integrated development environment, uh, including STDFX is totally Microsoft Visual Studio thing, you will not need to do this on pretty much any other compiler and even right over here in Microsoft Visual Studio you can take that off by right clicking project going into properties and changing a certain setting which I'll show you right now right over here you can set up a whole bunch of different settings which is useful for our uh, integrated development environment which what we're using over here is Microsoft Visual Studio I will go right now to the configuration properties and I will open up the C and C++ tab then I'm going to the precompiled headers tab and over here as we see there's a setting called use precompiled header I'm going to select that and check not using precompiled headers I'm going to click OK and from now on I will not need to use include stdafx in any of my source files. As you see right now, this will compile with no problem. Uh, otherwise, if I would not uh, remove that option, 
I will have to have include STDAFX in every single one of my source files, otherwise I will get a compiler error. But that thing, for example, is totally not standard C++. It only has what to do with this specific IDE that I'm using. 